guys, D Field here, and welcome back to another episode of the Cube SMP Civil War season. How are you guys all doing on this fantastic freaking Thursday? I hope you guys are having a good day because I had a very productive day on the Cube last night. Um, I did end up live streaming last night for around seven hours on the Cube, and we got a whole lot done. Now, by a whole lot, I mean we got one really, really, really big project done yesterday now i'm gonna actually gonna go show you guys that project very very shortly because i'm actually really proud at how it turned out and how well the actual uh farm itself works now uh really quickly i told you guys that we were gonna be working on a blaze farm very very soon and i wasn't actually planning on getting this blaze farm done um you know in a, in a very timely manner but check this out if you guys look at my inventory real quickly look at this power four prot three sharp three books i got another sharp three book power three fortune two book feather falling one efficiency four i got all of these books right here in my inventory in literally probably like half an hour of afking so the farm works itself the farm actually legitimately works i literally went to grab dinner last night for like half an hour i left and came back and then all of a sudden i just i farmed up like 40 levels in a little bit but i'm gonna roll that clip in a second but i'm gonna hop into a call with grazer because mr grazer here wants to actually uh find the blaze spot and he has no idea where it is so I'm gonna go ahead and show him that and then I'll showcase to you guys how the blaze farm itself actually works and uh, yeah we'll go from there thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of today's cube episode and if you guys are excited make sure you guys hit that like button but let me hop into a call with grazer real quickly and we will jump right into the rest of the episode all right, guys, so I've been AFK for about half an hour at this blaze farm right here, and I kind of just wanted to showcase a little bit of the power, the insanity of this entire farm itself. So I literally just went to grab dinner, and I came back, and I've got a whole bunch of blazes waiting for me down at the bottom there. But I do have 34 levels right now, so I'm going to go ahead and actually spend a little bit of uh, spend a little bit of levels before I do this enchantment so that we can go ahead and get a proper read on how much levels it's actually possible to get. So yes, I've been AFK caving for about half an hour but let's pop over here really quickly and just get a nice ooh a prot three and chat i will take that back oh my god prot three efficiency four sharpness three what a really freaking good book let's get one more over here power four that is gonna be freaking phenomenal right there power four book oh power two Let's get that right there. All right, so we're at 28 levels. As you guys can see, there's a whole bunch of uh, actual mobs here. Now, I'm not sure if you can read the entities uh, using the, uh, the top left-hand corner, but if you guys look over really quickly right here, there's 200 entities around uh, this blaze, but I'm not exactly sure if this is just the blaze farm because it could also be counting the entities uh, outside of the blaze farm. But anyways, let me show you guys how this works real quickly. All you got to do is flip this lever right here. It pushes a glass block forward, which allows uh, no further blaze to spawn down at the bottom. I hit this wooden level right here, and it actually starts up this entire uh, crushing process, which basically makes all of the blaze one hit so if any of the blaze are actually you know taking damage from uh any of the above pistons they end up dying which is not a big deal uh you just make sure that everything else is one hit so here we go uh what you're gonna actually want to use for this actual uh process is uh, a diamond sword because obviously using the swiping special attack it only takes almost one attack for you to kill almost every single one of these blazes here so i'm gonna do a couple clicks here there go all the blazes we just went from 29 to 41 levels just like that a whole bunch of blaze rods getting collected right over there obviously i don't have a looting sword so if i did have a looting sword it would make that a lot better but holy frick guys could you just see that from 29 to 41 we just got a whole ton of levels and now by doing that we literally can go ahead and I do have 40 books waiting over here. We do we, we can kind of go ahead and literally just enchant like as much as we want as many times as we want until we get what we like actually are looking for. So obviously uh, I don't have any feather falling yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that because why the frick not? There's another fortune two book fortune two with punch two. That's really freaking good. And I can literally just do this until I'm satisfied with what I'm getting. Like it's literally you can't get any better than this. You know what I'm saying? Like everything you could do this repeatedly until you get all the enchants that you want. Since we don't really have any uh, villagers for book trading, this is probably the best way to get book enchants as of right now. Like just with that short 30 minute segment right there. I literally just got so much 
freaking uh, blaze. I got a bunch of levels, got a whole bunch of blaze rods coming in, flying in, and that obviously is going to be a fuel source. So uh, yeah, it's obviously it works, guys. Like this blaze farm works 100% perfectly. But anyways, let me roll back into the clip so that I can explain this farm a little bit more to you guys in depth and detail, and then we'll just kind of uh, go from there. E field, how are you, bro? Uh, I sure have not missed that voice. How's it going, oh, Grazer? <laughs> you know, come back here. I know you love me. I know you love me. Chill, you, chill. You, you, I don't have a water bucket. This okay, is another even dude. If you don't love. Me. Oh yeah, that's you. That's you. That's you. I forgot. Relax, I forgot. relax. You, have, you look, you look geared enough. You look like you can take all of this. No problem. But okay. Anyways, <laughs> you are probably already leading me to it, but. I need XP defield. I need it really badly. And Dude. you have just finished the north side's blaze spawner. So I know the south side has one. Now there's two. We have one too. And I don't know where it is. Yes, so sir. Help, so just but... come follow me. It's actually, it's pretty far away and it's kind of dangerous. I don't know why you're in the nether, first of all, without any armor on. <laughs> well, I have boots on. Look, I have my boots. <laughs> Your boots are not going to do anything against a winter skeleton. If you die, like, I, I take no responsibility and I'm not going to get you any diamonds. Okay, because... listen, Phil. If I told you that I had the rest of my armor in my inventory right now, would you act more safe? I, I would cool. I would feel a lot safer if you yes. had. Um, <laughs> Want to know why I'm not scared? Because I'm the one that freaking got the wither skulls, man. I know all about this kind of territory. Oh I'm yeah, very right. expertise. I feel like you need to you need to be the guy on the server that gets like ten beacons so that we could just have speed two beacons all over. Yeah, our I've already land, gotten dude. this one. I've already gotten this one. Yeah, I know. I've saw oh, it. It looks way, really nice. If you can. Can you donate iron to that cause? We'll need the uh, the most iron that we can get to get. The um, most I actually am going to be uh, I'm going to be working on a uh, what is it called? Like a villager farm like within mm -hmm. the next like week or so i just yeah. like that we're gonna use that for the emeralds because it's not worth it i don't think to to use actually like that many blocks of iron to uh wait we're gonna be actually using emerald blocks yeah for uh for the beacons that's like the smartest <laughs> no thing to do way! i literally made a joke about that last episode and everyone <laughs> laughed at me for it thinking it would take forever are you being serious right now? no no, no like yeah if we if we can get a fully functional like emerald farm <laughs> or like like a villager farm like you can get I a whole bunch of emeralds <laughs> about that. I literally meant that as a complete joke. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, be careful. There's like blazes around here and stuff. They like they just randomly spawn here. So just come on up. Wait, wait. Um, how do I? Where, okay, there you are. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this entire pathway is kind of a little dangerous right now. Like there's no direct pathway, so you're just gonna have to kind of remember how to get uh, from okay. one place to another. But it's pretty, it's pretty easy. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, mm -hmm. And why is Will following us? He's like right behind us, dude. Oh, geez, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? How does he know what he's talking scary. about? <laughs> Nether, it's net of the territory, though. We're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, so we passed this one. You're going to pass this place farm. That's not the one that we're going to be going to. Okay, but then let's go. It's, it's wait, a wait, very... Is that theirs? No, no, no. Wait, no, no. Wait. That's, like a, that's like an unused one. Like, I didn't want to work on that one because I, I, it was, like, way too dangerous. It's, like, floating wait, above okay, lava. Okay, so Will was telling me their side has, like, an underground nether. Can you confirm or deny? Like, is theirs different or do they use the same fortress that we do? Uh, no, the, theirs has a different... They're using a different fortress, but I think what okay. they're talking about is, like, they have an entire pathway that goes up to theirs right now like oh, I, I guess they're they're making like a nether base or something because like they're clearing out a whole bunch of land i'm not exactly sure why but they're okay, clearing well, out yeah they're clearing good. out so much <laughs> all right so this is our blaze farm right here uh for some reason it's aggroed um actually log in and out real quickly just log in and out so that it unaggroes on us will do and then let's um, see how this works so i just literally afk here hey look at will hey will are you impressed by uh d field's design here <laughs> it's not <laughs> my design so no, this design he's shaking his head. He's like, nope, I'm not. <laughs> so this design is actually mumbo's design on youtube but i actually went and modified it just a little bit because <gasps> if you d field you cheated on me man what? i was like dude d field created this all by himself no now, now <laughs> no bro are you, you serious <laughs> no but i modified his design a little bit because if you actually if you peer into the farm itself there's a, another extra row of um what is it called of pistons oh is it down here oh you haven't showed me that part yet. yeah 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 so there's another <laughs> row of pistons that actually help push the blaze okay, okay. these blaze are aggro on somebody i'm not sure why did somebody it's not will Where's it might will be at? will because it's a, they're yeah. supposed to they're supposed to float down Oh jeez, yeah, he's yeah. <laughs> as soon as he logs out, it starts to float down. Oh my gosh. Alright, but yeah, so this is the farm. Just come on straight down over here and you'll be good to go. Do, 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 do. So here's the Whoa! farm itself. So right here is okay. an enchanting table. You can get level 30 enchants right oh to the gosh, back of this. Can I just have free reign to all these blaze rods? Well, well, well you, I'm going to be using those to actually cook up a whole bunch of nether racks so that I can clean up this place so it looks a lot okay. nicer. But all yeah, right. you can have them eventually in the future. But anyways, has it? Will, stop! What are you doing? <laughs> 
Chill! What do we need though, other than a blade funder, which is really cool. Okay, what's this? Is this the kill switch? Okay, okay, wait, so let me let me teach you real quickly. So okay. this is the uh, cutoff switch. So what it does is if you look at the top with the sticky piston, it pushes a glass block in and it makes it so that no further blaze can go in. Okay. And that's then fine, you have yeah. to just hit this switch once. And what, I, what that'll everyone. do, that'll that'll crush him to one hit, but obviously because Will hit it, because he's an yeah. idiot, uh, <laughs> it's going to probably end up killing him. God dang it, Will! Why did you do that? Will. Okay, I see how it works now, though. Right? That's cool. You know oh what we need, gosh. though? We what do need we need? We need a freaking wither skeleton farm, dude. We need to farm all the wither skulls we can get. Imagine your idea of having, like, 15 beacons or something. So, it we, doesn't work. how do we, how does, uh, how do, how does a wither skeleton farm work, dude? We had one in season one. I remember. Dude, you know, okay, well, like... so can you make that? Can I trust you in making a wither skeleton farm? <laughs> no, dude, you literally have to turn the nether into one big platform and then just literally, like, take advantage of all their kind of spawning area. Dude, wait, 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 so wait. Hard. So that's it probably so long to make. that's probably what South is doing then because they, like, they cleared oh, out a whole area. Sense. Uh, Why are these blazes not falling down? Like I have, what the frick? Like they're aggroed on somebody or something, and they're not actually going down. And I'm not sure why. I think it's well. the one outside is aggro. Wait, which which one? Is it, it might be these ones I'm right over sure. here? I'm not really sure ah! what's going on. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're gonna I die, dude. Know. You're gonna die in the Nether, dude, man. I won't die. I swear, <laughs> I'm very good at what I do here. <laughs> this is my job. All right, so wait. So is that what? You're, can I trust you to do that? Like, are you gonna? No. Why no not? Way. Why do not? You actually think I'm about to take like? Five weeks to clear out this entire nether. It doesn't take so that five can... weeks, bro. Dude. You know okay, listen, many, listen, like, listen, listen. Ready? It's going to take to mine so that this is all one big platform. Well, Literally, you don't have to I do. I will be at this all week. Yeah, I know. Well, oh, you know, it took me seven hours to make this blaze farm. But you this, can... Yeah, and this is nothing <laughs> compared to what would have to be done. I'm not, no way. Well, this you're going to, okay, think about it this way, right? Think about it this way. So in order for you to mine faster, you're going to need 30 levels, which you'll have right here. You'll have the blaze farm to use. Yeah. But then, like, okay. all you have to do is get yourself an efficiency five, you know, pickaxe. <laughs> field, why do you think you're gonna eventually convince me to do this? <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 Will hit. Wait, 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 no, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, bro, you're not just gonna do that, dude. <laughs> Dude, you, back, yo, me. you and Will just hit the freaking pigment, dude. Chill out, man. You had the same idea. That's so Chill funny. out, dude. Oh uh, my god. Well, I'm pretty I sure think, uh, you're nearly you dead. Oh, 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 you you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Mr. You're gonna die. I'm not gonna die. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, I'm Why gonna use this though that? a lot. Um, <laughs> is there a limit to how many people can be AFK here? Just one at a time. Right? Uh, well, yeah, and, just one at a time. So if somebody's okay. not AFKing overnight, you can do it, and you know, just it's 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 just a community farm. So just you know, be courteous with each other. All right, man. I'll well, see you later, bro. All right, Love take you, it easy, dude. Have a good one. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Will just hit me. <laughs> Ouchies. Okay, guys. So we're back at spawn, and I actually uh, went ahead and got a couple of materials to actually build this farm with. Now, the only thing that I'm actually missing is some freaking glass. Now, the glass will obviously kind of just finish off the design, and this is going to be very, very, very similar to the north side's design. So I'm actually going to borrow a little bit of bee stuff here and cook up some glass while we work on the rest of the design itself. But let's go ahead and uh, just toss some coal in here, and then we'll use uh, we'll use half of her furnace so that we can get that glass cooking while we wait and then let's come on over here i decided that i'm gonna put the sugarcane farm this automatic sugarcane farm somewhere right over here now here's the plan um i don't exactly know how to fully fully build this farm so we're kind of just gonna do it off the top of my head um if i remember how to correctly so anyways let's go ahead and go into here uh we're gonna need two chests so let me go ahead and uh where's the crafting table we need a crafting table right next to us uh, for breeding purposes. Ah, oh, there's a chest here now. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Let's put a double chest. We're going to obviously need this double chest is going to be there for to collect up all of the sugar cane that we do end up acquiring. But let's go ahead and uh, put the chest right here. And then after the chest, let's go ahead and put a hopper right into it. So like you guys have to imagine. Oh, wait, where's my hoppers? Where's my hoppers? Frick. Did I leave my hoppers? I thought I had a hopper with me. Hold on one second. There's my hoppers. Oh my freaking gosh. I thought <laughs> I thought I forgot them all the way at the nether farm and I was going to be really, really freaking pissed if I had to walk all the way freaking back over there. So this is going to be where the farm is. Um, okay, so let's do this. We're going to toss the hopper into the chest like that. 
And then we are going to go ahead and block off majority of the farm using, uh, you know, stone bricks. And then I think what we're going to do is this is going to be the front of the farm. So this is going to be like the front right here. This is all going to technically be glass. But for the meantime, we're just going to use this because we don't have the glass ready yet. And then this is going to be the water. Now we have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's perfect. We could do eight, but I mean, seven will do that. It'll, it'll still uh, grab everything properly. And then we're going to do stone bricks here. And then all we need is oh actually let's grab some of the sand i kind of want to make this farm out of uh sand just because the sand kind of sticks out a little bit more and will make the farm look a little bit more colorful from the distance so we're gonna actually grab oh who's that over there oh scrazer over there all right let's grab some of this sand this extra sand that we have and wait hold on boom boom and boom so we got some glass to work with very 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 freaking nice okay and uh yeah so i don't know you guys are telling me that you guys want to see these kind of like live streams or not really live stream but on camera builds where I do like these small projects on camera let me know what you guys think about it like if you guys want me to do it I'm definitely definitely down to do it it's just up to you you know at the end of the day it's up to you guys whether or not you want to see this on camera so let me know in the comment sections below if you guys prefer me to do this like on a live stream so that you guys don't have to watch this or if you guys want to watch this sometimes you know what I'm saying so like a little bit of variety I guess is what I'm asking what you if you guys want that or not so let's gonna go to that and we're gonna put that there so this is gonna be the sugar cane the sugar cane is gonna be placed on here uh, we're obviously only gonna build one layer right now because if we do build more than one layer it's just uh, it's just gonna be the same design over and over and over again all the pistons are actually gonna go on this block right here so it's gonna look like this boom 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 I'm just gonna continue this all the way down like so now I don't know if this works on 1.9 I'm kind of messing around with a design that I'm not familiar with but we're gonna give it a try and hopefully it works out the way that we want it to work out so we're gonna do this and then I think it's like this. Um, wait, no, 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 no. There's another block. Oh, I'm missing building blocks. That's why I didn't place. And then above here is going to go something like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then this should be able to activate, I believe. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's wrong. I think it goes above. Does it go above the farm or does it go below? Actually, no, I think that sounds right. That sounds about right. And then we put the redstone on top. Now, I have to test this because I have no idea if this powers it or not. In 1.9, I might have done the design just slightly wrong. There it is. I got it. Okay, all I had to change up to this redstone design was this right here. I needed to put a repeater instead of redstone right here. And this is 100% fully done and automated. So look at this. Check this out, guys. If as soon as this grows, as soon as it grows, boom, pushes the freaking uh, sugarcane down. And then the sugarcane obviously gets brought down into the hopper itself. And boom, bada boom. There it is. There it is, guys. Like, there's the freaking sugarcane farm up and ready to go. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, recap what we did here. We went ahead and got some normal pistons all along the edge. And then at the very, very end, we have one sticky piston right here. The sticky piston is attached to a redstone block. And that redstone block gets activated as soon as soon as you actually um, break the current. So as soon as you place the sugar cane, the redstone block is detected and it literally just pushes all of these blocks straight on out. And then this activates the current and actually puts it back. So that's kind of really weird. I didn't actually expect for that to happen, but all the sugar cane just literally gets uh, collected and put into this so now all we really have to do i kind of want to see this into action by itself i don't know how long exactly we're gonna have to wait but if we need to wait for the sugarcane farm to grow but anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead and end the episode right there i've got a lot of work to do i'm gonna kind of uh, modulate this farm a little bit better so that it uses a lot less redstone and we're gonna see if i can make a better farm from what we currently have but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's cube episode make sure you guys hit that like button for us this is d field we'll see you guys next time have a great day everybody